is not here, uh, unfortunately. Most of you have been praying for our ministry, and you've been praying for her as well. As I shared with the first service, uh, some of you knew this, but the last nine months she's had a sickness. Uh, she's had the Egyptian flu, and uh, God delivered her from that. On October 16th, she became a mummy. And, uh, <laughs> six, October 16th, a seven and a half pound, 19 inch baby girl. Her name's John Warren III. <laughs> We're excited about that. Her, her legal name is, I call her John, her legal name is Natalie Nicole Warren. But uh, she's God's gift and that's what we prayed for. And I always told Cass, she said, we're gonna have a boy. I said, we're gonna have a girl. And that way we can have three kids, see? I had it all worked out just right. Me and God have a plan here. So you hang around for the third kid, okay? All right, but it is a joy to be here. I wish they could be with us. The day after she had the baby, the doctor kept her there one day and then let her go home. And I don't know if you've been aware of our schedule, our itinerary, but we've been on the road every since then. We took a short time to move to a different location, and uh, she helped move, and then we began to speak several times. She hasn't had an opportunity to take a break or a time off except for one Sunday night. And uh, this week, I believe this is our 15th engagement, this week alone, and she said, John, we've got to lighten up just a little bit, so she went home to Mommy. And, uh, and I teased her a little bit about that, but she needs some rest. And uh, I don't know if you know what it's like to wake up three times a night with a, a three-week-old baby screaming. But uh, doing that and being on the road and holding a full-time job, which she does in our office there, she needed a break, but she said her spirit's here with us, and uh, she hated to miss this opportunity. But it is a joy for us to be here. I would like to make an announcement, and uh, this is my part of the announcement. That's tonight's service at 6 o'clock here at the church. It's entitled The Parents Seminar, and the topic of the message will be Youth in Crisis. It's for moms and dads to be better parents, to do a teen complex. It's for grandmas and grandpas to be better grandmas and grandpas. Aunts and uncles to be better aunts and uncles. It's for teenagers to help you understand yourself better. And it's for everybody. Everybody should be here. My argument is this. Everybody is influenced by the youth culture, and I can prove that very easily. It influences your taxes. It influences your shopping malls in your neighborhood. It influences your legislation. It affects even the things you do in your church. Your young people should be one of the primary objectives to reach in your community because they are our future.